Good morning. It's now time for your business headlines. Homelessness in the United States reaching to new heights, soaring by 12 percent between January of 2022 and 2023. A single night saw 650,000 people without homes. That's the highest number since reporting began in 2007. The data showed the largest increase is from people becoming homeless for the first time. So for help with what this means and a whole lot more, let's welcome in global business consultant Hillary Fordwich. Good morning, Hillary. Happy Monday to you. Uh, let's start with the markets, which finished the day mixed on Friday. Now back to the story that we just were talking about. The homeless surge is reportedly being spurred by high rent and uh, housing shortages. The report also attributes it to the pandemic protections, some of which made it very difficult to evict tenants for a long time. Now the Biden administration has been touting this wonderful economy, Hillary, yet so many Americans, they're without a home, 40 percent of which saying they live in places not meant for human habitation. Um, Hillary, what do you believe is actually driving the rise in homelessness? Well, Alison, pleasure to be back with you. And you're absolutely correct on all those points. And what's driving this are all the factors you mentioned, in addition to the fact that this is a lag effect from COVID, of course, because the supply chain was so disrupted and there were so many delays. And of course, at the moment, it is, you can tell, Bidenomics. Thank you very much. It's because the minimum wage does not meet the threshold for those that are at the lowest level on the economic ladder to be able to afford rent. So basically, people aren't making enough to be able to afford those rents. We don't have enough low-income housing. And this is actually an abomination for a first-world country, a leading nation in the world. And, you know, I don't know what Joe Biden is thinking because this is affecting the poorest of the poor to the greatest extent. And black males and Hispanics are the most drastically affected. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. Yet yeah, the president says, you know, wages are up and things are good. But, you know, numbers don't lie. 